Yo, what's going on guys? Today is November 8th, 2019, and Grand Blue decides to drop another surprise ticket. It's been about, I think, two months since the last surprise ticket, which is kind of normal. So, for players who are willing to give side games your $25 or whatever currency you running, um, you could be the lucky player to get a 10 draw and a pick of your choice. And in this video, I'll be recommending to you what you should be picking. Now, two things I'm gonna mention, there are two new weapons in the game, which are surprise ticketable. Um, I'm going to have to be using a notepad. So I'm gonna change up the way I do this. First, we'll be going through each element. Um, so we go through the, the six main elements. We'll go to weapons and then summons afterwards. And I'll, I'll go over the meta things. Um, Obviously, if you're gonna pick things like you really like, like if you'll have a waifu or something that you really wanna get, go ahead and get it, bro. I'm not gonna stop you. But this is for more for people who don't know what to pick and are really, are trying to be more optimized. So let's go from there. First thing we'll be looking at is fire. I just, <laughs> whoopsies. So fire surprise ticket characters are really worth it in the long run, worth your money. Um, Athena still won, you know, uh, I feel like she's getting a little bit weaker now. Um, still a strong character, um, but you know, with power creep, I feel like she probably doesn't have too much longer. Armor is really cool, but a lot of these characters are getting like defense buff. I kind of like defense buff over armor because armor's not consistent enough. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in the future. Athena's still a, a solid pick, though. Um, outside of Athena, Tabana is eh. She's not a bad unit by any means. It's just that it's hard to give her content right now. Uh, I think she's a low-key good pick for the future. Um, but right now, I don't... I can't really say she's a good pick now. She's more of a, like, future pick. So I wouldn't even recommend her. If you're a guy who likes to think for the future, maybe. But if you don't have her, at least. Uh, oh, right. Before I do this... Um, no experience with what what is it what is the unit with uh caliostro silva zahamalina right what was that man fire potato i don't know her i don't know how to spell her name <laughs> i don't know how to spell her name i think that's all of them right let me check let me make sure the wiki i've tested most of the limited units this oh sorry now okay so I have no experience with any of these characters yet, so I can't re recommend them to you yet. Um, I'll be still doing videos on the rebalance units, but these rebalance units I have not gotten around to yet. So I can't recommend units that I have not played with personally. That's just how I, that's how I roll. I know people love to recommend units they have not ever touched in their lives. I'm not that type of guy. So I like to recommend things I played with and experienced. So until I have experience with them, I can't recommend them at the moment uh, about fire though fire 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 and yeah. you know fire got some boo-boo characters Ooh, colossus now this weapon <laughs> the weapon damage cap up okay the colossus weapon this is more for uh tryhards tryhards if you're like a real fire man you really want to get that big meaty katana it's a katana right yeah, big meaty katana. Um, if you really want to flesh out your fire pool, keep in mind that you won't be really using it like that much probably until the six high dragons are in the second half of uh, 2020 where we have fire GW again. So we just had fire GW. We won't have another one to 2020 near the end of 2020. So it's so one of the things you got to think about when you're building a uh, for one Ellie. I don't think think anything else is really too important lancelon and vein was really good for ex plus um but we're not doing ex plus anymore we won't be seeing that for another what eight months ten months so i can't i'm not gonna recommend them right now um when we get closer to gw for fire i'll recommend them but that's about it for fire i believe let's move on to water let me make a little here water all right Water, I, I don't think water is in a better situation, to be honest. Um, I think water is about the same situation in terms of, like, price units. 
Altair. Whoo. Whoo. My man, he's falling off hard. Um, I can't really recommend him, honestly. He's still, he's still a decent unit, but for surprise ticketing? Mm, not really. I feel like you can get away with most units in water for what he does. Um, it's like really, really, really min max water Ogi builds. And generally, it's for solo only. So, I mean, just don't solo, right? <laughs> you like, like, um, this honestly is what it is. You're like wasting your time soloing most of the time, unless it's GW. Um, it, even in GW, soloing is not really worth it for Nightmare 100 unless you like a person who do, I believe, sub two minutes. So, if that's not you, then you're wasting your time. Um. Romeo, why? Why water has such little characters? Did I mess up something? Did water not have characters? Wait, what? Fire had three pages. No, am I smoking? Yeah, why water? Where, where the water characters go? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, are we are we are we forgetting water characters on there, bro? Is half the water roster limited? Oh, you know what? It's true, right? Because what? Got so many limited on water now. Think about it. Maybe that's why. <sighs> Fills water, man. So we got Lily. Lily's still a solid pick, you know. It's gonna be a solid pick it for like for a long time. I <laughs> can't really go wrong with Lily. She's not a bad option. Um, she's not the greatest damage dealer though, unfortunately, right? God, you already got some booty booty cheek characters, bro. Oh my god. Oh water. <laughs> uh uh, <laughs> I look at these water characters, bro, and I'm just like, oh, they're so, so questionable. All of them. Who want to use any of these characters? That's why people hate water, bro. <laughs> if you don't have, like, this certain, like, five characters in the water element, bro, that's just, oh, my God. Look at, look at these. They're so bad. Oh, <laughs> oh let's just skip this element, my dude. Let's go to a better element. Oh my god, what do you suck? <laughs> oh, power creep is real, dude. Like, it's really hard to recommend, like, le like, recommend all tier in 20 2019? 2020? Uh, Charlotte? Izmir? Who, who are these characters, dude? All of them are dog, dude. I love Anne, but I'm sorry, Anne. You're pretty bad. I'm, this is how it goes, unfortunately, right? Like, especially if you're spending money, you better get some value off your pocket if you're spending money for it, in my opinion. You best be getting some value out of it. If not, then you're wasting your time. Like, Siegfried used to be a good pick uh, about uh, two years ago, a year ago. Now? <laughs> no. Our Lumea, she's okay. But yeah, yeah. Bow, Halsena, Vasharaga. Yeah, er, why? This one had three ele three pages too. Hmm. What did it get shafted, huh? Wow. Uh, these Earth characters though are pretty. Uh. <laughs> oh, Dante. Dante's not a bad character. Salt uses Dante all the damn time. To be honest. Uh, I don't know if I recommend. I don't know if I recommend Dante though as a surprise ticket. He's pretty good though for a lot of. One turns, um, even this normal content, he's not bad. I don't know if I'll surprise to get him though. Wow, the Earth characters are pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty bad too. <laughs> oh my God, dude! Woo! I, I don't recommend any of these characters, dude. Oh, bro, what? Yo, bro, do I really only use limiteds on Earth? Bro, what is these? What's these character pools? Bro, they're all bad. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> when it comes to surprise tickets, bro. Uh, bro, I'm looking at these characters. I'm just like, who is really worth it here? I don't think any of them are worth it. I mean, Siegfried is about the closest to worth it here. And he's not even that great. Wow. These characters are... Um, I probably... I don't want to say Dante, like Dante's a good character, but I don't know if I say Dante, honestly. Hmm. 
It's really for like an Earth main type of dude, I think, more so than like your average Earth player. Yeah, I really can't recommend any of these Earth characters, bro. <laughs> you best off getting a gorilla. <laughs> To any of these Earth characters, honestly, bro, you better play those GW characters for the rest of your life. <laughs> because these Earth characters are not worth your money. I'm sorry, they just not. None of them are worth your money. Um, Dante's probably the closest one, honestly. Dante's about the closest one, like really usable and viable. Um, I think Bashiraga, he has 30% charge bar boost, right? Oh, uh, what's yet they being removed? Maybe Bashiraga may be used for GW EX plus. Um, I'll wait for Salt, though. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm not Earth Lord or anything. Like, Omega, truly love Earth type of person. So, this, I look at majority's units, and they're all pretty meh. So, I don't think any of them was worth your money. Um, at most, maybe a year. If you, like, have a ton of Oracles, maybe. If you have, like, a ton of Oracles, and you really need a unit to die. I guess air. But, yeah. Sorry, Earth players. I know, it's rough. And we were, in, we were gonna say Urius anyway, but Urius, I'll put it, I'll put a, uh, Urius, um, he, I, I type Earth Urius, didn't I? Um, okay, so for Urius, I don't know how to say this, but, um, not worth, if, I mean, not worth, over other options. So, like, Urius is a good character, but his main utility is this Fa high level, and honestly, you don't need him for Fa high level. You can just run double win players. So, like, you can have somebody else run Urius. You don't have to be the Urius. Um, yes, it helps to have your own Urius, but if you're, like, missing something else in another element, it's like, ah, oh, bro, do I pick up Urius so I can do win Fa, or do I... Uh, do I, uh, pick up this other thing for an, an element that I need, like a damage cap boost weapon, some, uh, a character you need, then I would honestly tell you to not pick up Urius, run two wind players for five high level, get your clear, and then just don't play it again with wind. This is really not that hard. So, uh, honestly, Urius is a good pick still, but if you have other options here that you can get... I'll get the other option and just run double wind for Fa high level. That's my recommendation. Uh, what are wind characters are there though? Ah, <laughs> uh, don't I think we're getting a wind GW soon. Hell is still a solid pick, but I don't know if I'll recommend her though. Stan, I have the I haven't had used her yet. I have the character, I just haven't got around to using them yet. More Regna. Mm, Lena. Yeah, I don't need to, oh, Man, what's Vera better, dude? Oh, speaking of Vera, bro, we're getting that fire one, right? With that with the nice outfit she had in the anime. Ooh, winning. Uh she had like the nice butt too. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, let's go back to this scheme. Uh I really don't recommend anything here. Honestly, I'll tell you outside of Urius. Man, these standard gotcha characters are pretty bad, bro. <laughs> can't recommend any of them. <laughs> is this really the game that is... Ugh, man. Like, honestly, most of them are just memes. Like, none of them are, like, let's say meta units, right? Like, units that you must run. Outside of Lily, Vampy, uh, there haven't really been any meta normal units. Oh, Kalulu. Um, it is rough for standard units. They, they have it hard, unfortunately. Yeah, can't, I can't recommend anything. Now, you got to understand, right? You're spending money, right? And if you're spending money, you got to go with the best option. So. Uh, that's how I feel about things. As for light. Mm. So, John. I've, I've been... I've been told of the John instant kills for for um for EX plus with her charge bar boost very fast. Problem being is that if you have that you probably already have John, so 
<laughs> if you have the grid required for it, rather. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not recommending John though. She will be used, I believe, for X plus and GW. It's more for like really optimized players and not your average player. But I feel like I should mention it in this segment just so people know about it. Albert would use for the solo fa high level. Um, that's nothing very surprising to me that he would use for the solo fa high level, but Albert was used. Um, outside of that though, it's not really worth it. Fairy still, fairy still strong pick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. If you don't got fairy, and let's say you have a the light grid, and everything, fairy still a good character, bro. I mean, I'm <laughs> fairy still a good character, bro. At queen, at queen, bro. I'm sorry, but I st if you still run in fairy for GW on her act assault time, dude. It's our attack time or whatever strike time, whatever you want to call it. If you don't got fairy still, I mean, the same still works. Um, Helen, Mal, and Fairy do not stack, but you don't, you even drop Helen, Mal for Fairy during the uh, assault time. Um, so for people who don't have Fairy, Fairy's still a strong character, but majority of players who have the grid, like ready to run this already have Fairy. So I don't know if recommending Fairy is like the best option, but we do have GW coming around. Um, uh, AT Queen, I'll probably put AT Queen plus GW around the corner around the corner. Right, cool. So if you don't have fairy, um, something you may want to look at. Um, Charlotte, uh, I fl she's okay, but I don't know if I recommend her though. Sara, I haven't played with her either. I have, I have her too. So I haven't got around to playing with her yet. I'll play with her eventually. Zoe, ooh, Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Zoe, 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 Zoe. Still really strong option for like a lot of auto content. Honestly, that's probably her best function right now is as an auto character. So, um, um, I, I think Zoe's still a strong option for a pick because he's really good for autos. That's about it really. Uh, wow. I mainly mentioned Fairy because of strike a GW around the corner, but I mean, Charlotte, Charlotte, is she, is she okay? Uh, I don't. What, what does she come with protection again? She does, right? Her skill too. Hmm. GW's around the corner. Um. Weaker. So we will probably have another surprise ticket before GW comes out, by the way, because we'll probably get one around December or New Year's around that time. I, I don't expect GW until 2020. So the next GW should be in January, 2020. So we may have another surprise ticket, but just in case we don't, I recommend, I'm, I'm just throwing these things out here. It should be like GW right after the, uh, the dark one. I think that's about it for light, to be honest. I don't think anything else in light is really worth your time or your investment. It really won't. Most of the stuff won't get you any anywhere, to be honest. Oh, Robomi. Ooh, Robomi, maybe. <laughs> Robomi is another one. So let's, let's 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 spread this out so it's not nearly it's more readable. Robomi, Charlotte, and Zoe. Uh, okay. So there you go. These characters are because you like you know I'm around the corner. I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit more talk about light because this is what you really want to surprise to get towards. Um, Robomi is extremely good for EX+, like really good. A lot of comps run Robomi because he has the unworldly damage. 
uh, unworldly multiplier and this, he's just really really absurdly strong for that one ogi so still still be core for a while for ex plus for people who are looking to get that ex plus for light and now we are on to dark dark being the last le here wow this video is gonna be a long video my dudes but we'll, i'll try to put some timestamps and stuff in the video so we have dark um i mean we're gonna put vampy and kalulu so they go up waste my time vampy strong unit kalulu i mean this is like Kalulu per weapon, we this, even weapon too. Kalulu dash weapon, like uh, both of them are strong. Right? If you don't have Kalulu as a character, or if you want to pick up copies of Vagabonds for Bahamut high level racing, even with bad ping, it's still viable. So you just can't race another dark player <laughs> who has better ping than you. Unfortunately, no matter how fast you are. Um, that's gonna, you're gonna lose. I'll let you cheat. So the, the the setup is heavily reliant on pink. Uh. I think that's about it for dark. Uh, I'm trying to think about who who's gonna be you. dark. Dark, you got you dark players are lucky, bro. You your your ex plus characters, they're free. <laughs> they're free. <laughs> dark, you got it. You got it pretty good. <laughs> like I don't have to recommend any ex plus characters because all your characters you need, they're free. Unless you don't have Lulus, which ooh oof. If you don't have Lulus, oof. Dark got it pretty good. Like, there's no recommendation for EX Plus characters because you don't need it. Um, Kalulu's good too, but Dark, you just got, you got all your stuff is, is free. So, I think that's about it for Dark. Even though Dark GW is around the corner, a lot of the characters won't be used. The only ones getting any use probably is Vania, Kalulu, and that's about it really. Um... I, I, oh, uh, I mean, if you really want to be a min-max dark player, Freezy can be used as a uh, death fodder if you want to use her, but that's about it. That's about it for, for characters, honestly. So let's go on and summons. I'm going to call weapons. 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 Uh, I think I should do it different. Do it like that. Characters. Weapons. Okay, now weapons, right? I'm just gonna note the really important weapons that are really worth it. So, this this is one of the new weapons here. It's a light with a dagger, taming. Sorry, um, what really makes it strong is uh, it has a pay to win damage cap up. You can only get this weapon from surprise to getting right now. So, it's a pay to win damage cap up for light. Pay to win cap up. Like, I guess I can't, like, for people who either not getting it this GW, I mean, this surprise ticket, you're kind of pushing it and praying that we're going to have another surprise ticket between now and light GW. If you're a guy who really invested into light, you pretty much have to pick this up. Must pick up if you're like in any investment into light. So it's, it's unfortunate, but it's a must pick up for any investment into light. Um, this is how it goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, light players. You, you got messed up. Everybody else, you have to free cap up and water. I mean, light. Yeah, every element has free cap up. The, the only element that has to pay for cap up is light. Wow. <laughs> wow. Feels light, man. So that's one weapon. Uh, let me. Gissel is still a, power, a powerful weapon. Gissel is still a powerful weapon. Um, Bahamut high level slash Anubis Hades. Um, 
for people who want to build a new Mercedes, still a solid pick. I have many players I know running it for GW, this uh, upcoming GW. So, um, it really depends on how many bars you have and what weapons you have and characters. But I, I know many players going to be running Anubis Hades for GW. So, good. Okay, so, it's still a solid pick there. Uh, so, you know what? <laughs> oh, and, and Fa. You can you throw in a Fa too, I guess. Fa high level. Fa high level works too. Nobody runs stamina. Stamina's not that great. It's only really great for the five minute runs, I believe. Uh, but let's be honest, not many players doing that. I think, I think the five minutes run just used it. But it's been a while. I, I don't know if they're still doing it or not. Uh, there's another weapon, so. There's a water weapon there. This staff is, an, is another weapon that was just added. As I mentioned, there's two. The first one being Team Yasari, and this is an, some, some staff. Uh, boost all allies water attack, big boost to water allies attack, medium boost to water allies water attack based on the number of turns pass. I think it caps at 25, I believe, progression. And boost max HP based on how many staffs are equipped. Now, do I think this weapon's bad? No, it's not a bad weapon at all. Is it worth your surprise ticket now? No. No water GW, not worth your time. Honestly, it'd probably be okay. Um, but it's not something that I would say right now to pick up. Um, even if you're a Waterlord, it's probably not worth it right now. I'll give it some time. Though I do feel like this weapon will be used in the future. Um, just having, what, attack boost, HP boost, and water attack boost, that's pretty sick, right? It comes with a ton. I don't, keep in mind, it's, this is not boosted, right? This is not boosted. But still, it's still HP boost. So, it comes with quite a bit. Um, so, it's something you, you want to look out for. But it's not something that you must get right now. I think that's about it for weapons. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it for, for weapons, I believe. I don't believe anything else is really worth your investment right now. Yeah, nothing, nothing else here. It's worth your investment. And for the last thing, summons. So, <sighs> summons, 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 summons. Um. All right. Now summons. Hmm. The summons that are, are worth a surprise ticket. Now, vortex dragon would use. <laughs> Um, I, I have a hard time really recommending it for a surprise ticket. We just got a free one actually, so I can't recommend it. It's used. It's it's a used summon, but not I wouldn't recommend it to like ninety nine percent of the player base. So it's not even worth it. Um Oh hey I, I can definitely recommend this, this one I it's a definitely recommend. Um Uh for non competitive competitive people. It's a great summon for non competitive people. I don't think it's good for like your competitive player, but for somebody who's non competitive, uh it's definitely a good summon. Um Bunkles. Uh they lost a little bit of value. I'll have to wait until the six man raid thing. Um, Bonus though still OP. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to wait for the, the, the new six dragons coming up to see if punkos are worth it again. Right now they, are, they aren't really worth it in most content, unfortunately. Uh, the damage cut is just not worth it. They're okay in far high level, as long as you remove paradise loss though. But you know, you gotta go above and beyond to get that done. Uh Typhon still a strong pick. Typhon still overpowered. Um good in most areas. I mean I I, I don't think I need to say much about Typhon. Typhon is still a good summon. 
Thor, uh, Thor, full limit break, uh, four, for full limit break, purpose only, light mains, so, Thor full limit break is the real reason, the real surprise to get right now, um, okay, can I make it a little bit smaller, no I cannot, right, no I cannot, uh, I want to make it, So there you go. It's really Thor. It's just if you really if you can mass limit break it before GW, it'll be a big help. That fifty percent bonus damage for what two turns is just ridiculous. Um. Hmm. Freyer, eh? I can't recommend Freyer that much anymore. It's okay. Gorilla, <laughs> four full limit break. <laughs> Purpose is Earth means it's the same situation for light. Um, it's one of the things you're gonna have to have if you're really a main of the element. The bonus damage is just too much to give up to not surprise to get it. And that's it. Oh, Princess Long G is not here yet, so I can't recommend that one. Uh, when Princess Long G is in the pool, I'll be recommending that for water players. But I believe that covers everything. I know this was a long video. 31 minutes. Oh my god. But uh, I think that covers everything I want to talk about. I'm going to have to definitely timestamp this video. So Athena's still okay pick for like 5 entry level, but I don't think it's worth it. You can, you can definitely not run Athena and be fine. Um, Bunkles, I'll, I'll wait a little bit longer. Yeah, that's about it. Hamsa, it's, it's not worth it anymore with Zeph. Full limit break. It used to be worth it, though. Surter is just pretty much... If I didn't have any crest needs right now. Maybe in the future, but right now it's not worth it. And Freyer is, it's not a bad summon. Um, it's not worth it for a surprise ticket right now. If you have nothing else though, I guess you, I guess you can surprise ticket if you have nothing else, but this is a lot, right, of options. So Freyer is just, it's okay, but it's not required. I think that's about it right now. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think that, I think that covers everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know it's kind of long. Um, sorry about that. But hopefully you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.